how big is this problem compared to SARS? The answer is it's still too early to tell at this stage of the uh, virus outbreak. Uh, the medical experts uh, tell us, as of now, that the virus is not as infectious as SARS. Fatality rates is lower, as of now. But the situation is evolving um, so quickly. And as you all heard from the Chinese health authorities yesterday, uh, it is getting stronger, the virus is getting stronger, the infection is, infection, number of infections are likely to rise. So I think we just have to be psychologically prepared that this can get worse than SARS. Not to mention the latest, you know, some of you asked, uh, what if the, there is a risk of infection spreading even before symptoms show? Right? If that were to happen, I think the spread of the virus would be much faster. And because we are unable to identify and isolate, unlike SARS, which we, we had the means to because of the symptoms. Right? So there are many imponderables. There are many uncertainties. And we have to be prepared that um, things may worsen, that there will be more cases overseas, in China, overseas, elsewhere, other countries, including in Singapore. And as I said, um, uh, be psychologically prepared that this may take some time to unravel, but be assured too that we have a system in place. And this goes to your second question. How prepared are we compared to SARS? We are better prepared. Because of SARS, we have learned the lessons of SARS. We have set, put in place inter-ministry coordination mechanisms. We have put in place drawer plans for a full range of different scenarios of the um, virus outbreak. And that's why we are confident in saying that we are better prepared and we want to assure Singaporeans that we are. And that's why our message is uh, keep calm, carry on with your lives, but all of us work together take the necessary precautions and we can overcome this together.